सो विथ मी इज द नोटेड डायरेक्टर ऑफ फिल्म सच एज लाल कप्तान मनोरमा सिक्स फीट अंडर एन एच टेन नवदीप सिंह फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू नो वट मेक्स हिम मेक फिल्म आई थिंक इट्स द सेम थिंग विच सॉरी द सेम थिंग कैन यू जस्ट डू दिस अगेन no i tried to do a one take thing is it one... you mentioned it also no but it, but it's usual i ek do take ke baad theek ho jata hai okay now we are still okay i think they want to give a very candid reply which sure <laughs> okay okay actually so uh, with me is a noted director of films such as nh10 lal kaptan manorama 6 feet under navdeep singh uh, first of all we want to know from him why does he want to make films what makes him make films it's really largely for the same reason that most uh, filmmakers make films which is that they have a particular story or a particular thematic uh, thing that they really want to express uh, yeah and these things uh, sort of stay inside you uh, sort of wanting to come out and be seen uh, be shared it's a, it's a, it's also a process of sharing i think that's something i i, sh- I should stress uh, filmmakers want to share stuff i think uh, you know they want other people to uh, sort of share in that those ideas which are running around in their head and uh, yeah so it becomes a sort of a, a collective experience uh one thing about bollywood telling stories through films is that it creates a lot more in po- employment than books or making a youtube video so in that context uh, would you like to give some estimate of how many jobs are created in the process of your telling your story I, i sometimes when i'm on a set i think too many jobs uh, because it's such huge set, crews we have in our industry Uh, but uh, uh, leaving jokes aside uh, i no i think it's a it's, there's hundreds of people yeah the hundreds literally hundreds I, i mean once you sort of factor in the fact that uh, every driver who's driving you to set to the catering people to you know there's so many almost you know uh, incidental jobs around it also uh, hotels which you know are, are, it's, so it's not just technicians and actors and and writers and artists uh, it's all, it's also a lot of other people who 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 get employment through through the industry uh, Uh, whether it's people in post production whether it's you know the security guard standing outside that post production studio he's, he, his job is related to the film industry and uh, credits may be aa jata hai unka naam aajkal thankfully but uh, but yeah it's we, we sometimes forget that those people are also part of the film industry uh, so one more thing about uh, the, uh, you know like when we talk about your films you know nh10 or lal kaptan they are not per se uh, mainstream uh, run of the mill subjects and it is these kind of rooted cinema that usually uh, comes up with uh, something blockbuster something path breaking something that can be the tent pole film for the industry uh, so what is the price that you pay while trying to make such films uh, this is very important because i feel that uh, bollywood is uh, you know under attack for making films which do not uh, really touch people's hearts and uh, you try to touch people's hearts by picking up subjects very boldly and so what price do you think you have paid for trying to make your kind of films uh, you obviously make uh, less films than you would probably want to uh, yeah so the so the period between films becomes longer because the kind of stories you want to tell may not necessarily be seen as commercial although having said that i think a commercial film is a film that was does well yeah so i mean what is a commercial film jo film chal gayi wo commercial film hai अगर नहीं चली तो कमर्शल नहीं है चाहे उसमें आप छः गाने डाल दो और जो भी है सो अल्टीमेटली या आई थिंक इट्स जस्ट इट्स इट्स आई थिंक एवरीबडी हैज़ द काइंड ऑफ फिल्म दैट दे वांट टू मेक एंड टेल अनुराग कश्यप वांट्स टू टेल अ पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ स्टोरी एनी डज एंड रोहित शेट्टी वॉन्ट्स टू टेल अ पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ स्टोरी एनी डज एंड जस्ट सो हैपन्स टू बी दैट द काइंड ऑफ स्टोरीज यू वॉन्ट टू टेल आर कमर्शल और नॉट कमर्शल और परसिव्ड एज सच बट बट या आई थिंक I, everyone pays a price in some way or the other to share so you know of uh, for the kind of films they want to make with a yeah so i think the the frequency is a little so, less than i think so one more uh, i think the, the closing question let us ask is that uh, how do you uh, discover talent for your film uh, has has there been any occasion where you felt uh, you've taken a bold call about somebody's talent in the film and it has worked out well for you 
and uh, some like uh, the, the question is also linked to the fact that we have these nepotism debates and uh, and partially it's not all wrong that we are having these debates because after all uh, even south indian films are uh, beating mumbai filmmakers so there must be something wrong somewhere so any uh, any thoughts on these matters i mean as far as nepotism goes i mean that's everywhere i i, I don't think the south is uh, is is has escaped that uh, it, a lot of the industry there is run by a few families as well so i don't I, you know it's so in that sense that comparison is a little unfair because they're just probably as nepotistic as the bombay film industry uh, in in terms of uh, meeting fresh talent whether it's actors whether it's uh, writers uh, i'm pretty open to that i mean i've met people have contacted me on facebook and you know uh, and that's how i got to meet them and then they, we ended up collaborating on a script together uh, so yeah i think being open to the experience being uh, open to paying for a cup of coffee for someone who may or may not be worth meeting but i think yeah one should constantly keep uh, taking that chance of meeting somebody fresh and yeah sure it'll be the rate, the hit ratio is very low uh, you know probably in the 20 to 1 or 50 to 1 kind of ratio that for every one uh, Uh, sort of uh, potential collaborator that you meet uh, there might be a lot of misses there but that's what the risk yeah and the same thing with actors i feel that uh, uh, with actors it's a little safer because i mean you do get to see auditions even if they've never done anything before and uh, yeah but sometimes you see somebody who's not had doesn't have much experience but there's something about them that seems to fit the character so well um, so yeah so especially secondary roles it's it's much easier to cast for or if it's not the lead cast even if it's primary roles but not the lead cast uh, because there's uh, less interference by the producer in that sense you know aapka jo starring cast hai that's what pulls in the money for the producer in some sense and pulls in the and sort of uh, defines the budget for your film uh, so you, yeah the choices are fewer because then you have to rely on established talent but uh, outside of your lead pair or lead whatever single person I, th- i think there is much more flexibility in terms of casting in terms of writers and stuff i, I think uh, you know there's a lot of flexibility that uh, most filmmakers have uh, there isn't so much of a, a producerial pressure there uh so uh just one i think one question that we can just wrap up with uh we are uh, interviewing navdeep singh ji on the mumbai indie film festival platform uh, uh navdeep has given a lot of time to the festival uh, physically mentally and uh, he's taken his time off to support the cause of independent cinema so a few words on what do you think about independent cinema and what how has your experience been in mumbai indie film festival I mean the experience of us been great I think it's a great platform for you know uh, young filmmakers to express themselves people who haven't uh, found the exposure that they deserve potentially to find uh, uh, not just an audience but to make connections within the industry through 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 other people who are watching here uh, it's 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 yeah so it's great I think I think independent cinema is a great sort of uh, breeding ground for talent uh, the professional industry uh, I mean is what it is and it it it's it's it tends to be a little static the infusion of flush fresh blood into the sort of uh, the professional industry and but when i say professional industry i mean sort of mainstream cinema uh, which already has systems defined so that's why professional as opposed to you know it's not like that the quality of the work is uh, you know it's that comes out of the indie scene is any less professional in that sense uh, but yeah because there's such well defined systems that that uh, fresh talent finds it difficult to break through um, but i i don't think independent cinema should confine itself to that role i think as kamal ji was uh, saying earlier uh, in, in independent cinema uh, sort of yeah, really helps uh, uh, filmmakers uh, express what they truly want to express without that larger system sort of defining parameters ke is is daire ke andar aap ye kuch boliye ya you know So, so those boundaries get broken in in, in independent cinema, and uh, that that's really important. So, thank you, thank you, Navdeep Singh, for being with us, and uh, that's it. That's it, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the interview. Done.